calculating curve runoff numbers. How do we calculate them? Well, so far we've talked about what the curve numbers are dependent on. They're dependent on the antecedent moisture content, the hydrologic conditions, and the soil groups, okay? And remember, curve runoff numbers are numbers uh, used or developed by the SCS, the Soil Conservation Service, uh, to estimate the uh, runoff in a certain area. Okay, so how do we calculate curve runoff numbers? Well, if you had uh, a, a city here, let's say that's a city. Actually, uh, let's do it in a different color. Let's say you had a city here, okay? This is city, city. <laughs> city, city. So in the city, let's say the land was divided up uh, into three different parts, okay? One was a lot of uh, vegetation, a lot of, let's say maybe a, a giant golf course, lots of lawn. Um, let's say another area was an industrial area, industrial commercial area. And then finally you had, I don't know, maybe residential area. Okay, so obviously the, the golf course here would have a, a low runoff because a lot of the water that falls onto a golf course golf course is absorbed by the grass, the lawn, the soil there, right? Um, but on the other hand, you have this industrial area and this this um, residential area. And these areas um, have a lot of concrete, a lot of asphalt, um, and material that doesn't allow water to actually infiltrate the ground. So they may have a higher curve uh, runoff number or a higher um, runoff because well, water can't get into the ground, so water has to go somewhere, right? So we have a um, golf course, we have an industrial area, and we have a residential area. You, what you would do to figure out what the curve number is of this entire city is you would take the average or the weighted curve number um, of, all, of all three of the sub-areas. Sub okay, so I'm going to write a little equation the curve uh, the weighted, that's W stands for weighted, the weighted curve number is equal to the sum of all the curve numbers I times their respective areas divided by the total area, okay? And this is I equals 1 to N. Um, so the area total would be the area of the city, okay? and the curve uh, C and I and AI would be the curve number and the areas uh, for each of the different parts of the city. So you have, let's say, area, area one, area two, and area three, okay? So you'd have a, a curve number for this golf course, you'd have a curve number for this um, industrial area, and you have a curve number for this residential area, okay? and you multiply each curve number by its own area, you add them all together and you divide by the total area to get the curve number of the city, okay? So curve numbers, you may, uh, there's different ways, there's so many different tables uh, to figure out what the curve number is so you can use whatever you want, um, but here's a, a quick example or uh, an example of a curve, uh, curve number chart here you'll have, over here you have the land uh, land use description, so it'll tell you what type of land it is. Uh, notice that you have your good condition, your fair condition, your poor condition. Remember, if you don't know the, the hydrologic condition, you can assume it to be fair. And then up here you have A, B, C, and D. And these are your different soil groups that we talked about in a couple videos um, previously. And all of these numbers are curve runoff numbers. Notice that uh, the highest one you see here is a 98, and the lowest one you see is about a 39. So most most curve numbers are generally from 30 to uh, 98, 99, 100, okay? So you'll have a list of all these different uh, land uses, the land conditions there, and then you'll have soil groups up here, and you'll have curve numbers. Uh, so uh, small grain um, land use here, so meadows, woods, farm, um, all sorts of stuff. Up here you'll have like 
residential areas, industrial districts, you'll have urban areas, there's our golf course that we were talking about, a cemetery, or a, a cemeteries, yeah, cemeteries, um, so dead people absorb water too, I guess, but this is one, um, one of the charts you can use uh, to figure out what the curve number is, okay? Um, in the next video, we'll actually do a quick example on how to calculate this uh, weighted curve number, and hopefully that'll clear things up uh, with the chart and with these sub areas and all this fun stuff. All right, so see you then.